Crocodiles and alligators belong to a group that at one point in history ruled the entire planet. They took on the most bizarre forms nature's ever seen, and if it weren't for the extinction of most, dinosaurs may have never succeeded. How did they rise? What made them go extinct? Let's find out. Earth, 247 million years ago, early Triassic. It's recovering from a mass extinction event that killed 90% of all life. In that 10% that lived, groups would form, including very primitive dinosaurs, primitive pterosaurs, and also Pseudosuchians, a group that includes crocodiles, alligators, and their ancestors. In this new barren world, Pseudosuchians would emerge as the dominant force for now. This domination would begin with animals like Tenosauriscus. It walked on all fours and was likely a terrestrial carnivore. It maybe reached heights of a human chest thanks to its large sail. Although this sail could have actually been a hump, we don't know. Many Pseudosuchians at the time would adopt a similar body shape, like Zelosuchus and Arizonasaurus. Another was the Lotosaurus, one of the most bizarre animals ever. It had a toothless beak, had a sail or hump, was chunky, and its diet was unknown. While some think it ate shellfish, the popular opinion is that it was actually a herbivore. Yeah, a plant-eating beaked crocodile relative. A strange animal, but as time would pass, other weird animals would emerge. By around 237 million years ago, Pseudosuchia carnivores began developing, growing bigger in size, becoming apex predators. One of these was Prestosuchus, possibly the biggest carnivore of its time. It was thought to be 17 feet long, but newer discoveries had placed it at 23 feet in length. It walked and possibly ran on all fours, and could have been as tall as a human. Other similar top carnivores include the heavily built Batrachodimus, which was 20 feet in length, the 13 foot long Rausuchus, and the possible fish eater Ticinosuchus. At around 230 million years ago, true dinosaurs and pterosaurs would only barely begin emerging. By this time though, Pseudosuchians would cement themselves as a dominant group, experiencing an explosion of diversity. They took on all shapes, even looking like dinosaurs. One of these was Silosuchus, a giant croc relative that was taller than an average person and was 33 feet in length, making it one of the biggest Pseudosuchians. Despite its looks, it was a beaked herbivore. Many similar but smaller animals would appear too, like Shufosaurus and Ephigia, all of which were beaked herbivores. There were also dinosaur-looking carnivores, such as Poposaurus. It was mistaken as a dinosaur upon discovery, and for good reason. It was a raptor-looking crocodilian that was 13 feet in length. It walked and ran swiftly on two legs, feasting on meat just like raptors. Speaking of carnivores, true dinosaur carnivores had no chance against the apex croc lion predators, which grew to even bigger sizes. Animals like Sarosuchus, a large terrestrial carnivore that would walk on all fours. It could grow up to 25 feet in length. Or Postosuchus, a bipedal carnivore at 4 feet in height and 23 feet in length. And also giants like Phosalosuchus, which can reach lengths of 33 feet. Like Sarasuchus, it walked on all fours and was much more powerful than any dinosaur carnivores that existed at the time. Along these carnivores, there were bizarre crocodile herbivores. One of the strangest that ever existed was this Matasuchus. It was an armored, 15 foot long animal with large shoulder spikes. It had a strong carapace that would protect it against hunters like Postasuchus. These were just some of the fascinating strange forms croc ancestors would take. But then, it all came to an end. Earth, 201 million years ago, the late Triassic. It's experiencing yet another extinction, the end Triassic extinction. It's debated what happened, but the most likely cause is volcanic activity. The pumping of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere would cause severe climate change. Temperatures would soar and drop. Oceans would turn acidic. 75% of all life will cease to exist. The reign of the croc line animals, the Pseudosuchians, has finally come to a horrifying end. In this death and suffering, some will survive. The dinosaurs, the pterosaurs. Now, with most Pseudosuchians out of the way, 
they can finally begin to rule the planet. But notice how I said most Sudasukians. Well, that's because a single lone branch from Sudasukia survived this deadly extinction. They were the Crocodilomorphs. This single surviving branch will, in the periods to come, diversify and survive to this very day, giving us eventually the crocodiles and alligators we see today.